but but I, I predicted that this was going to that the reprogramming work was going to ignite a lot of interest. What I can tell you about what's been going on in my lab is that we're trying to answer the questions: uh, How long does the effect last when you reprogram? Um, and if it's epigenetic, it should last. And uh, how many times can you reset the body? Um, so we know the answer to the first one. And this is work in collaboration with Bruce Cassander at Mass Ioneer Hospital here in Boston. When you reset the eye of a, of, a, of a mouse that's been given glaucoma, what happens is that it gets its vision back. And then we can turn off the gene therapy. It's three genes, O, S, and K for short. Um, then those mice retain their vision. Um, and in fact, those mice, um, they die with, with young eyes. The rest of the body ages and, and dies, um, which is kind of a bummer because then we couldn't easily answer the second question, which is how many times can you reset the eye? Because the mouse doesn't live long enough. So we're now working to um, treat the entire mouse and to make a mouse that lives for many years that we can then reset multiple times. Um, we, we know a lot more that this effect works in multiple different tissues. Uh, Manuel Serrano has, and we have reprogrammed the entire brain of a mouse. You get better memory when you reverse the age of, of the brain. Uh, we know that you can do this for the spleen and the kidney and the liver as well. Um, so we didn't realize how universal this was, but now we, we do. And then finally, I'll tell you that we're doing uh, preparations for human clinical trials looking at safety. And the concern is that this could reverse the age of the body so much that it could start a tumor. But we've, uh, we've been very surprised and of course relieved that uh, there's no evidence of any cancer formation with this treatment. Even if we blast an entire mouse with the adenovirus, there's no evidence, even after a year of treatment. So what it appears like is that there's a, a barrier to going too young. Cells know to go back 80% and stop there and not go to 100. And we also would love, love to understand what that barrier is as well. But what I think is going on is we're tapping into an ancient regeneration program that we've lost. Salamanders will re regrow their limbs when they get cut off. Fish will regrow tails. Um, lizards will get their eyesight back if their optic nerve gets damaged. And so I, I think we've, we've just lost that ability, but we're finally getting the ability to uh, restore it now. Uh, well, we don't make cells immortal. We just make them remember their identity and restore their youthful gene expression. Um, I guess it, it could be if we reset a million times, they there may as well be immortal. Um, one area we're looking at is, can you uh, reprogram a senescent cell to be normal? And uh, a senescent cell being the those uh, cells that stop dividing after um, having too much epigenetic change or short telomeres. Uh, and those results are looking very promising. So, you know, again, that this field just continues to surprise us.